I am very excited to show you the fuel profile. This is a collaboration between myself and Osram. Osram designed their G1 system a few years back and have been selling it as a system that you would mount on a ceiling. It had a transformer and you could turn it on. It was for, let's say, a corporate lobby and you could project a corporate logo onto their floor. And it was just one of those systems that they put out there in the world and was selling. And it, was, it won awards, it's gorgeous, it's sleek. It's a four LED system, it's quite bright, in fact. If you think about what it was designed to do, it was designed to, to be visible on a floor in a lit lobby. Think about that for a minute. And that's why it really intrigued me. When I first saw this fixture, I thought to myself, that looks like something I would want. It's, it's small, it's lightweight, it has a great shape, it's very well designed, the optics are beautiful. And I thought, why isn't this baby wireless? So I approached them and said, I need to work with this. And we collaborated. And what we now have is the fuel profile, which is essentially the industry's first battery powered, remote control and dimmable, which is for a designer, I know your eyes just lit up, a dimmable image projector system. So now what we have in this case is two different sizes. You have the longer 12 hour battery system and the six hour battery system. Now, depending on how you work, one may be the perfect. You know, sometimes some people like that this gives them more runtime, but remember we're talking about full intensity turned full on because we can dim the system and you will because even though it's an LED system, when you work in dark spaces, a lot of times it's a surprisingly bright fixture and you want to dim it back to get that intimate feel. So in many cases, a six hour battery when it runs at full, once you dim the system becomes 12 and 14 and 16 hours, especially later at night. So you have it on for a few hours at full and then you can dim it and then you've got your runtime and you've got a more compact, lightweight and less expensive fixture. So I really wanted to create two different levels to this system, but have some continuity in the sense of what it looks like and how it integrates. So let's go over the fixture from the front to the back so you understand how Osram designed it and how I added on to it. At the front, some people think this is uh, a zoom, but it's not. It's actually more for focus. This is basically a fixed lens. At the front here, the lens can actually unscrew and you can order our systems in one or the other, a 16 degree or 24 de degree lens, which you can see here we have two different lenses at Osram Designs. This is pretty good. In my case, I personally like the 24 de degree because I'm looking at short throw wide angle distances. I know it's not the 50 that some, let's say, ETC source force systems would have, but 24 degree is definitely a nice, a nice touch and it gives you more range. The 16 degree would be when you're trying to project over further distances and your beam width is gonna naturally spread out because it goes further. And when I'm talking distances, maybe in the range of 30, 40 feet, and all of a sudden you've got this big beam anyways, but you want more punch because it's concentrating it. So it just depends on what you're shooting for and what distances you're shooting at. So this is interchangeable. When you take this with your two fingers and slide, you get focus control. So it's very simple, it slides pretty easy and it clicks at in increments so you can lock in and then your lens gives you fine tuning control over focus. So this gives you the rough focus, this gives you the fine tuning focus. And it's a pretty slick system actually, something that years ago no one had even thought up in the LED world. So I'm pretty impressed with it that it's actually lasted this many years and it's so cool. It's just a nice fixture. Now, in my world though, in your world, we really need to replicate the ways we use it. And what I do a lot is I want to soften the texture. So if you're going to do a dance floor texture and a bride is doing her first dance, you, you obviously don't want sharp texture on her dress. You want there to be a blending, a softening, almost a highlighting that she's passing through. You can achieve that quite easily with a source 4 simply by sliding the barrel and, and getting the, the, the image out of focus in a nice soft manner. But you could not do that with an LED system, especially a four LED system because of the way it focuses on the gobo itself. So I actually took a look at their system where you have two rails and I created the fuel diffusion component that you can see here. Seems simple, but took me a while to think through this. 
This little mechanism is designed to take advantage of their steel reels and it actually just locks on where you want it. Now, this gives you the ability to, to move this back and forth and it essentially gives you a variable diffusion system. So now you can replicate something that's slightly out of focus, very softly out of focus, and then you can, you can smoothly move it, click it, snap it back in, and get a set, beautiful, blended focus out of it. Now you have the ability to blend multiple fixtures together on a surface, like a dance floor or a tent surface, very quickly, and blend the texture together just at the right softness. This is a critical design component. This is as critical of a component to this system as the ability to dim it on the other side where we have control. That's very exciting. It's an accessory. Not everyone needs it. Some people buy our systems to project logos and that's not really a concern. It is an accessory sort of like shutters would be, but something very, very uh, critical to the design. Now, as you look back on the fixture, you're going to see that there's a collar and yoke system here. Now, just because I like small, compact, beautiful fixtures, I wanted it to look like it was all meant to be one, as if Osram designed it from the beginning as one system. So I wanted these to be as small as possible so they reached the back of the fixture but didn't have any more length to get in the way or make the fixture bulky. I wanted the collar to actually hide the transition between the Osram body and our system back here, making it look like it's a more complete thought. We really needed the aesthetics of it to look seamless, like we worked on it from the beginning, and it does. Now, this collar system is actually quite unique. Right now, I'm using our, our fuel cross mag as just a base so we can sit it and use it. We do this at trade shows. This part is not normally here. But what you do have is four quarter 20 mounting holes, one, two, three, and and what this allows you to do is use it in a traditional sense where you have a clamp up here and obviously a typical you know, two-point positioning system like a Source 4. Or you can remove this, uh, this yoke and because this is a standard quarter 20 hole, you can mount this right to a tripod or any other system that has a traditional quarter 20 mounting system and most of the photography and video world has this. I really started to think through what other industries could utilize it. Could it be film? Could it be video? Could, I mean, a lot of highlighting takes place in the photography and video world. In the movie industry, that would be the same. And this quarter 20 mounting hole simplifies the integration of this little compact light into a lot of scenes and in a lot of people's workflow that typically they would never think it's possible to have texture and highlighting with any pattern at all with a small fixture. Usually they would have to bring something that they'd plug in. So those mounting holes, believe it or not, are as creative as the rest of the tools that I've done. I really thought through who would want to use it, how creative did they want to get, how many types of environments may they use it in. Those four quarter 20 holes really adds to that. Now, moving back, we actually combine these two rail, rails here. You don't see them. They, they basically merge the two components together and it brings you through this, this aluminum anodized, excuse me, aluminum powder coat surface that matches the body. So again, it looks very, very seamless, but very durable. Now looking on the back of the fixture, this is very similar to all of our fuel products, which is critical to me speaking to you about how everything works together. All of our systems are meant to work together to hopefully replace all of your traditional systems on the ceiling or in a tent to a wireless concept like this. So the way it's controlled with the same remote control system, the same infrared sensors, the same rotary switch. In this case, this rotary switch has the same concept as our wash fixture, pendulite and decor systems, and of course, our angle light zoom. In this case, the uh, ability to set it to four different zones allows the profile to be in zone A. So you can go to your remote control, press zone A, and then hit it to whatever intensity that you want, and this fixture dims all other systems that are B, C, or D in the room do not, are not affected. So that means you can have our angle light highlighting table florals, you can have our wash fixture doing the food stations, and you can have these on the dance floor with a soft texture, and each of them are running independently of each other without interference. It's beautiful, very simple, very fast. Now you can also turn the fixture on by simply uh, 
turning it to one of the intensity settings. We have zero, simply off, of course. Then we have 25, 50, and 100. And that allows you to turn it on and just set it and forget it type of system. So, th and that's something that's throughout all of our systems. But once you put it on, let's say, A, and you go again to A, you have now smooth dimming control. And what I mean by smooth is if you go from a full intensity to 50, it takes three smooth seconds to change. So to the eye, it's very gradual and very controlled. And that changes the same way from 50 to 10% or 10 up to 100. There's always a three second fade with our systems, so it's very smooth to the eye. Now, the lithium systems inside come from the same uh, technology, I'll call it, as all of our systems. We just simply have more capacity in this one than we do in this. But the good thing is the reliability is the same. It's incredibly durable. In fact, let me tell you a little bit about durability. If you look into lithium battery systems, they're, all battery systems, in fact, are, are affected by temperature. North, south, Canada, you name it, there's different levels of intensity of heat and cold. We tried to limit the effect that it has on the systems. Our lithium batteries are some of the most durable and resilient that you can possibly buy. Limiting the effect of battery, battery power when they're in a cold or hot state. That, that makes it so when you use them, in different environments, you get very similar run times and reliability whether you live in Florida or you live in Canada. And that's why when people call me from those two extremes, they're equally happy with our systems. They never perceive any degradation or change in the battery runtime. It's always consistent because of that. But the runtime, the recharge cycles and everything are built for what we do. Incredible durability and a lot of time, a lot of recharge cycles which turns into you don't have to replace the batteries anytime soon. It's designed to run for a very long time in a very rigorous environment. So now overall this is the general outline of what this do, does and when you see our practical videos and pictures you're going to see how impressively bright this little system is. Some people are shocked, in fact, that it's much brighter than they anticipated. But you're going to see that in a separate video when we can darken the space down and I can show you projection. But let me just talk about a few more accessories here. Osram was pretty slick. They came up with, I mean, I thought I did a lot of magnetic stuff, but, but Osram was thinking magnetics as well. And in the front edge, I'm going to slide this all the way out just for purposes of demonstration, you have a steel body inside. You don't see it, you don't feel it, but it's just a ring. And what they did is they took their gobo holders and they added six magnets to it. And what it does is it allows you to take a gobo, this is a Roscoe E-sized gobo, it mounts in very easily. You can do our color filter tuning packs and gobos. You can do uh, the glass gobos. There's room in here for that for thickness. And of course the plastic. And some people talk about, can I print my own? Absolutely. As long as you're happy with the resolution, you can definitely do that because it's LED. But the simplicity is there. You mount it in and you simply magnetically lock it in. It's that easy. What's really nice about the system is that you can rotate it very fast. So you can actually just rotate the, the gobo and straighten it if it's a corporate logo or if it's texture, then you're in. It's ready to roll. Now, they did the same thing because it's a profile and they knew that they might have to frame things, even though they weren't designing it for the theater world, they definitely understood that and they designed a shutter system. And this is, again, how it ties into what you're currently doing with a Source 4. And you're wondering, can I be as creative as if it's going to hold me back? And what's the possibility? Well, the shutter system helps. In this case, it's exactly the way you would, you would think it works. You have four shutters. They slide in and out. And they pivot. And just like a Source 4, you can frame what's coming out of this fixture for a beam. You can frame it right to, let's say, artwork or someone at a podium or just simply for glare control. So and it, it actually goes in the same way. You can simply magnetically lock it in and then you adjust it. It's very slick, very easy, very simple. And it definitely expands your capability when it comes to tuning color, adding gobos, and adjusting the shutters. It's pretty slick overall. You have a lot of range in how you can customize it to the event. In, in general, the goal was to introduce 
a very usable, very unique first fixture to the industry that followed suit with how we like our systems. Clean, beautiful, and ready to go. Nothing that you have to worry about for heat, nothing that you have to plug in, nothing that needs a dimming system with a control board, it's all built in. And of course, because it's lithium pack, what in, what's in place of a transformer is a battery system. So it's not like we added 10 pounds of weight. This is just a, a few pounds max. This is very lightweight. So imagine putting 20 of these or even 15 of these around the edge of a tent where you have the individual poles that hold up the tent. And you can project texture around this, this space in what seems like minutes compared to hours and, and what you would normally do with a Source 4 where you have to plug into generators and an incredible amount of power cable. It just goes in in minutes, it focuses, it's ready to go, and at the end of the night, what's even more beautiful is it's ready to take out in minutes as well and just be recharged when you get back. So for a first, we really hit some serious design marks, right? Size, portability, variable zoom, color tuning, different lenses, gobos, all gobos of different thicknesses can be installed. The final step, charging. Just so you understand, we actually do have two chargers. One's a supercharger, we call it, or a fast charger, and one's standard. This happens to be the same charger for our wash fixture. So if you already invest in our other systems, you'll see that we sell things uh, individually, a la carte, we call it, because we know if you invest in one, you might have already invested in this, and you don't want to spend your money doing it again to buy a few profile fixtures. But there is two different levels, and we do have one concept in the back that we like, consistent charge time. When you charge up an angle light with a standard charger and the fixture is at zero, zero power, you can actually charge it up in about five hours. The same charger, uh, well, excuse me, the charger that's designed for the wash fixture, even though it's a larger battery, will charge it in five hours. Now, you'll see that this right here is a smaller battery. This is designed to go with the smaller system and that charges up the profile, you guessed it, five hours, and this system, being a fast charger, gets this battery at twice the power back to, back to full in five hours. If you're a rental house or a production house and you wanna get everything charging at the same rate and flipped and ready to go, Everything has been thought through for workflow, not only at the venue as you set up and break down, but how it's handled, turned over, ready to go in its reliability. So you do have a choice. You can do either one for this and one for this, and it works beautifully. This will run and, of course, charge up the larger one, slower, but works beautifully. Um, but we do recommend this separation for consistency of charge time. Now, a couple of quick little notes, the color output, is 6,500 Kelvin. It's like pure white. So you, that's where the color tuning pack comes in. You can do a lot with it. Um, it is a four LED system. It's very bright. Osram says it's 800 lumens. You can't, you don't even know what that means. Who knows what that means? But I'll tell you right now, when you project it 20, 30 feet away onto a wall, you're going to be much more surprised than you thought you would. You're gonna be pleasantly surprised. It's crisp, it's sharp, it's definitely brighter than you expect. And I think your, your real comment will be, well, that's a lot more usable than I ever thought would be for, the, for a wireless, small, battery-powered image projector. That's what we're hoping. But we hope you love the whole system. We know it's going to be great. We know it's going to expand your business. We know for sure, once you put your hands on it, you will say, this expands who I am as a designer. This changes how I package our entire concepts when it comes to texture and framing of light. We're really excited about it. We want you to really take a look at this and we want you to start designing and thinking through every step of every venue that you work at, especially if you're working in tough environments like outdoors, on the beach, out, you know, trying to light a side of a, a building with something. Surprisingly, you might get away with this little fixture and get it done for a lot cheaper and faster and safer with much more creativity. So check it out on our website, look at the specs, buy one, get a demo, look at it, test it. I think you're gonna love it. But if you have any further in-depth details that you need, please give me a call. 
I'm the developer of it. I know exactly how to work with you on this and show you how to integrate it into your company. But we hope you love it as much as we do. Thank you.